What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. It's that time of the year again. You guys need to update your settings on OBS to make sure that you have a crystal clear and professional looking stream. Now, for those of you who've been streaming for a long time or maybe trying to start streaming just now for the first time, you know how important it is for your stream to stand out in that sea of millions of people trying to become streamers, especially in 2026. Now that is where our sponsor for today's video is going to come in. They're going to help you make your stream look great and give you the graphics and the alerts and everything you need to take it to the next level. The first step is going to be watching this video to get the quality boost it up on your stream, and then definitely check out our sponsor for today's video, Owned.TV. Owned.TV is your one-stop shop for fresh new graphics for your stream. Whether you're on Twitch, YouTube, or Kick, you'll find something that's a perfect fit for your channel. They offer full-themed overlay packages, which are great if you're trying to give your stream a complete makeover, but let's say you're looking to pick up some new alert graphics, don't worry, because they've got you covered there too. You could find single graphics such as alerts, emotes, banners, panels, and logos as well. And one of the best parts about these overlays is that they are completely modular. So if you and your friends all pick up the same overlay, such as this Rodan one right here, you could change the colors and tweak it to match your brand and none of you will have the exact same overlay. If you're looking to take your stream to the next level, be sure to check out own.tv using my link below to support the channel. And don't forget, use code HAMMER at checkout for an additional 50% off your order. Now, back to the video. Okay, so now we're back. Thank you guys for watching that sponsored segment. We're going to switch over to my split screen view so that you guys can see my screen. Now, this is my OBS, what you guys are seeing on the screen right here. I am recording currently. I have it put in the center of my screen, and we're going to do the first thing, and that's going to be to come down to the bottom right-hand corner and click on settings. Now, we have our little settings window. I'm going to put it right here so that you guys can see it. And actually, I can move it over a little bit this way. It's perfect. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so... Starting off up here in the top left in the general tab, there's one thing here that'll help you guys set up your stream and that's going to be source alignment snapping. I want you guys to enable this and then I have my snap sensitivity set to 9.0. You could kind of set this to whatever you want. It's all personal preference. This is going to help you when it comes to aligning things on, you know, your, your stream preview to make everything line up perfectly. That's all this is. So I would suggest enabling that and then messing around with the sensitivity to get it to what you want. Next on the uh, left hand side, we're going to go to appearance. Again, this is all personal preference. I use the Yami theme on default with a font size of 10 and then the density I have set to comfortable and on the left hand side here This is where everything starts to you know take place with setting up your stream You are going to come over here and whatever service you're streaming to whether it's twitch kick YouTube multi-streaming whatever if you are multi-streaming just pick one I stream mainly on Twitch and I multi-stream to Kick and YouTube. So I have Twitch selected here, right here in this destination box. It's going to have you log into your Twitch account or whatever it is. If you're using Kick, you're going to use a custom uh, one right here and put in your stream key. If you're using YouTube, you're going to select YouTube, Facebook, you know, so on and so forth. You're going to set that up. You're going to log in. And then that's all we do in this tab as well. Now, the most important tab is going to be over here in the output section. Come over to output at the top output mode, set this to advanced, make sure you're on the streaming tab here so that we're not messing with recording audio or replay buffer settings. Make sure you're selecting streaming here. And as you can see, a lot of this stuff is grayed out, but that's just because I'm recording currently and you can't change these settings while recording or while live. So in the streaming tab, the first thing you're going to notice over here is your audio encoder. Just leave that as default for your video encoder. If you're using an NVIDIA GPU, you're going to want to use NVENC H.264 if you're using an AMD. GPU use the AMD equivalent rescale output make sure this is disabled and then have this set to whatever it doesn't really matter because it's disabled anyway now coming down your encoder settings this is where the magic actually does happen right this is where you know we get that crystal clear quality on our stream so your bit rate is going to change depending on where you're streaming if you're streaming on twitch or kick you can't go higher than 8,000 bit rate. If you're streaming on YouTube, you can go way higher than that. Uh, so, you know, if you're, let's say, I'll give you an example. If you're doing 1920 by 1080 at 60 FPS on YouTube, you'll want to set your bit rate to 16K. 
on Twitch, do not go higher than 8,000 because they will nerf your encoder settings and people will only be able to watch your stream in 720p or lower, no matter how high you set it. The max you could set it on Twitch is going to be 8,000 kbps. Make sure your rate control is set to constant bit rate. Your keyframe interval, set this to two seconds. Preset, I have mine set to slowest or best quality. Tuning, I have set to high quality multi-pass mode, two passes, full resolution. Profile is set to high. Look ahead is unchecked. Adaptive quantization is checked b frame set to two and then no custom encoder options now just so you guys are aware if you are streaming and getting some encoding overload errors or maybe dropping some frames you can come in here to this preset and drop this down to like five it's really going to be a very minimal difference between p5 and p7 you only start to really lose quality once you hit p4 and even then it's not that much especially if people are not watching full screen so if you don't have the best computer on the market i suggest just starting at p5 right off the rip here uh, and then again, you can also go down to tuning and leave this on high quality. I wouldn't go low latency or ultra low latency. This just does change it quite a bit. But another one that you can tune down a little bit if you are having encoder, encoding uh, you know, errors, you can come down here to multi-pass mode and drop this down to quarter resolution or even single pass. Again, not a setting that affects the quality of your stream that much. It's not going to be you know, a super crazy amount of, of, of quality loss by dropping down you know, those settings by a tiny bit, the preset and the multi-pass mode. Okay, you're going to come over here to audio on the left-hand side, and this is where you're going to set up the audio for your stream. If you're using a gaming headset, right, that's just a headset with a microphone, this is going to be very simple. Your desktop audio will just be set to default or your headphones, and then your microphone will be set to the microphone on your headphones. If you're looking at mine and you're a little bit confused as to how mine is set up, it's because I'm using a GoXLR. So all of my audio is mixed down into the GoXLR, and then it's broadcasted through this broadcast stream mix. All of my mixing happens on the GoXLR, and then one single output comes out, which is my broadcast stream mix. So general rule of thumb here, depending on what your setup is, if you have a simple setup, like I said, gaming headset, gaming microphone, or even a Blue Yeti, you know, a USB microphone, or even a standalone XLR microphone, you don't, if you don't have an audio mixer, set your desktop audio to whatever you're listening to audio on, and then your microphone, whatever your microphone is, set it to that. Uh, scrolling down in here, there's not much else we need to mess with. Nothing in here is going to affect the quality of your stream. So we're going to go over here to another really important tab, and that's going to be the video tab. So if you're gaming in 1920 by 1080 or 2560 by 1440 or 4K, whatever it is, that is what your base canvas resolution is going to be. Whatever you're staring at, whatever your gaming monitor's resolution is, base canvas resolution is set to that. The output scaled resolution is going to then be um, what you want your stream to be at. If you want to stream in 2K, you would have to set your output scaled resolution to 2560 by 1440p if your base one is the exact same. If you're gaming in 2K and you wanted to scale your stream down to 1080p or Twitch, whatever, whatever you want to do, you would then set your output scaled resolution to 1920 by 1080 and that would downscale it and then that will give you access to these downscale filters i'm not downscaling right now i'm recording in 2k um so if i was streaming on twitch i downscale to 1080p that opens up the options here and you're going to want to choose the lanxos uh downscale filter option this is going to give you the highest possible quality and then your common fps values you're going to set this to 60 fps okay that's all you're going to do um and now you're going to have a nice high quality 60 fps stream and to be completely honest guys these settings have been helping people for years i update my settings here and there a little bit as the years go on you know we tweak with things and get it looking even better obs does some updates uh you know graphics card drivers update so things do change a little bit so if you haven't messed with your stream settings in a really long time now is the time to do it. Uh, definitely go and tweak your settings and you're going to thank me later because your stream is going to look absolutely crystal clear. But anyways, guys, that's it. Those are the settings. Again, check out the sponsor for today's video, Own.TV. Thank you, Own, for sponsoring this video. Follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Hammerdance, and subscribe to the channel if you are someone who is up and coming, trying to become a content creator, trying to become a streamer, a YouTuber, whatever it is. I have a 12-video series coming out on how to become a streamer uh, in 2026 moving forward. That's going to be starting in January, so subscribe if that's something that you're interested in. But anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching and listening in. I will see you all in the next one.